Okay, it was a chilly start to the day, but boy, is it nice out there right now. Tracy's here with our first alert forecast. How's it looking? Oh, you know what? It looks spectacular outside. Uh, considering the parade of storms that came through in the beginning of the month, which allowed us this beautiful view that we're looking at right now. I mean, talk about snow-capped mountains. Uh, our snowpack is doing wonderfully. And wouldn't it be nice if we could put a little more snow on there? We might be able to do that Sunday into Monday. In the meantime, bask in the sunshine and enjoy. So what is ahead? Less wind in today's forecast. Forecast. Cold morning lows. That's not going anywhere. A frosty start with temperatures in the 30s. That's not going anywhere either. And sunny and dry. Then, yeah, then a chance of showers coming in for the weekend. In the meantime, take a look at your hour by hour forecast. Our sunset comes in around 5 o'clock this evening, so you'll see plenty of sunshine up until that time frame. Afternoon highs today in the upper 50s, near 60 degrees. Just in case you're wondering how warm or how nice was it yesterday, downtown Sacramento official afternoon high 61 degrees. So once you get past your sunset, temperatures start to fall quickly, right? When you lose that sunshine, 46 degrees around 8 o'clock tonight and midnight hour temperatures in the lower 40s. Satellite and radar, so let's paint the picture what's going on. This is what is going on. High pressure system sitting out in the Pacific, essentially declaring king for a day, right? Just sitting there. This is the flow around it. Clockwise flow, right? And because of that, we are getting winds primarily coming in out of the north. Offshore winds. Offshore winds are drier and they tend to warm us up as opposed to onshore winds, which is like the delta breeze, right? Cooler air, more moisture coming in. It is the offshore winds that are expected in our forecast for the next few days that will allow temperatures to warm up just a little bit each day. But it's the same high pressure system that brings us clear skies in the overnight, which is why we're so cold. Now, as that high pressure system sits there, it also um, is almost like a force field. Anything that bumps up against it, can't really make its way to us. So it's directed up and over it. So all of this good juicy moisture out here, all these storm systems are going up and over that high pressure system until we get to the weekend. And that is when we have a few notable changes. Sunday, got a chance of showers coming in. We'll even have a chance of some snowfall. We'll see a few lingering showers still in the forecast for Monday, and then everything clears out on Tuesday. So with that being said, how are we doing with our reservoir levels? And right now, looking pretty good. Now this is percentage of capacity, 55% at Lake Shasta. You can see Lake Oroville coming in at 62%. A new Bullard's coming in at 81%. Don Pedro at 75%. New Malonis at 40% and Folsom at 53%. So let's talk about California reservoirs. California has what we call a Mediterranean climate. So the precipitation that we get in the state is greater for the northern half of the state and our rainy season when we get 75% of our precipitation. It's just for a few months, November to March. Now, right now we're doing pretty nicely, but of course we still have a few more months to go. All of that snow melt that we get from the Sierras is very beneficial from drinking to agriculture to environmental. And of course the, uh, maybe I should call it the uh, Holy Grail for us, atmospheric rivers. They are the determining factor between a wet or a dry year. Right now we're doing amazingly well, but of course it's always nice to tack on a little more. Let's stack the deck. We'll see a good chance of showers coming in. John, that's going to be Sunday with a few leftover showers possible for Monday. Okay, Tracy, thank you.